When it comes to trading, there are only three things that price can do. It can break a level, it can do a fake out of the level, or the level can be respected, meaning that the level holds. Now in today's video, I want to talk about the breakout versus fake out. How do you tell which is more likely to happen? How do you differentiate the two scenarios? I will not be talking about whether a price is going to be uh, respecting the level, but in today's video, I just want to show you uh, some pointers or rather some features about breakouts and fake outs. In yesterday's video, I talked about how do you identify fake outs. So if you have not watched that video, uh, I'll leave a link in the top right for you to check out after this. But let's go into uh, today's video. Now, what will you learn today? I will share with you what is a breakout, okay, just in case you're new, just a very brief run through. Share with you what is a fake out as well. I've covered that yesterday, but I cannot assume that you watched that. So I'm going to just briefly cover this yet again. Then I want to go into uh, the main bulk of today's video is what do you look for in a breakout and what do you look for in a fake out. So if you can tell, you know, if the market is more likely to break out, then uh, you want to, of course, take the breakout trade. And if you see certain signs that uh, the market is going to do a fake out, then you want to avoid trading the breakout. And if you want to uh, enter on a fake out as well, you can. So this is the power of knowing this knowledge. So hopefully uh, you really take some notes and uh, you write down um, the criteria uh, for the breakout and the fake out, put them side by side so that when you're trading, uh, you will not be caught on the wrong side of the market. Now, at the end of this video, I also want to share with you a bonus tip. Okay, it's a very simple bonus tip, uh, but this will help you increase your win rate. So, irregardless of whether you want to trade the breakout or the fake out or both, uh, this tip is going to increase uh, your win rate. Okay, so by the way, if you're enjoying this content so far, uh, please give us a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Okay, we have a free day trading guide for you as well. The link is in the description. Just uh, download that if you have not already done so. Right, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you have not. Okay, really, really appreciate it. Now, just a brief introduction about what is a fake out. It's very simple. Now, I covered this yesterday. It's the same slide actually. So what happens is that uh, you have uh, this. Let me just draw it. You have a support and resistance level. In this case, uh, this is the uh, resistance level. Price breaks above and instead of it trending up, which is what most people expect, uh, price just goes back down into the trading range. So this is what is known as a fake out or otherwise known as the bull trap, okay? This is a bull trap. Why is it called bull trap? Because the bulls are trapped, right? If let's say you buy over here and uh, you put your stop loss here or somewhere here, uh, you have lost money because uh, you would have been trapped. Same thing for the opposite. Uh, this is the support and uh, price close below. So breakout traders are going to be selling and uh, they put their stop loss somewhere above here or depending where they put. If they put it here, they are safe, of course. But if let's say you just put it somewhere here, uh, you would have been uh, trapped, right? This is a bear trap. Let me just write it. This would be a bear trap and um, you would have lost money if you use a very tight stop loss, okay? So very straightforward, uh, why is a fake out? Again, if you have not watched that video, I'll leave a link in the top right. So just check that out at your own time. Now, why is a breakout? This is the most common uh, you know, phenomenon. You should already know, okay? But just in case you, you don't really know, just do a very quick run through. So it's where price breaks a support and resistance level and carry on trending in that direction. So you can see over here that there is a box over here and our price has been consolidating. And after that, our price breaks this uh, resistance level and it starts trending up. So this is your classic case. This is the kind of movement that uh, all traders like. Okay, no matter what kind of trader you are, you like price to move like that because this is where it's easy to make money. Same thing uh, for the bearish scenario. Uh, you have a box, you know, ranging price is ranging between this high and this low. And after that, price just breaks it and it goes down. Okay, this is what a breakout is. Now, let's talk about what to look for in a breakout. Okay, actually, we covered this a lot in some of our other videos, but in this video, we just want to put everything together and uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, we have the uh, best Forex trading strategy that we recommend. So if you are keen to find out how to trade breakouts, uh, we have a video on that. Uh, just head over to our channel and type uh, best uh, trading strategy. Uh, you should see a video there and just watch that. Okay, that one is more uh, elaborate, uh, give you step-by-step criteria give you examples but in this video i don't want to you know take out too much of the time so i will not go through uh step by step and case case examples but i just want to show you a comparison 
So very simple over here. Uh, in a breakout, uh, what you have is you have build up pressure. So what do I mean by build up pressure? Basically, you can see that price is being uh, squeezed downwards. So you can see in this chart that there is some form of support at this level here. And you can see that uh, price is slowly, slowly coming down. Okay, this is the uh, this one is actually the uh, EMA. This is the moving average. In this case, I use the 20 period. Uh, feel free to use another uh, type of moving average, it's fine. But I think the concept is still the same. The first thing you want to look for is engulfing patterns. So you can see that, uh, let me just clear this first so that, uh, let me see if I can clear this so that it's clearer for you. Okay, uh, no, just a moment. Okay, so you can see that there's an engulfing pattern over here. And then you have another engulfing pattern here another engulfing pattern here, and finally price broke. So what you want to look for is a series of engulfing patterns. Again, if you do not know what uh, this means, uh, you do not know what engulfing pattern is, uh, in our free day trading guide, we do have a candlestick cheat sheet that teaches you all this. Okay, I cannot go into every single detail in this video, but uh, you just download that and check that out uh, depending on uh, what you need to know and what uh, you do not know yet. So this is an engulfing uh, pattern. You can see that there's one, there's two, there's three, and finally four. So this is what uh, is showing that there is a build-up pressure. Price is compressing towards the downside. Uh, you also want to look for moving average. Uh, in this case, I told you that this is the 20 moving period average. Uh, you can see that uh, this is also acting as some form of a dynamic resistance. Um, let me see if I can uh, clear this again. Okay, so over here you can see that uh, when price was here, uh, it was acting as dy dynamic resistance. Okay, so same thing, uh, you want to see a compression of price, basically you want to see the, the high is getting lower. You can see that the high was here at first, and then after it got here, somewhere around here, and then finally it got to somewhere here. If possible, you also want to find for a trend line compression, meaning that uh, you can draw a trend line, you can see that price is respecting the trend line. In this case, I have given you the perfect example where you see at all three, you see this, 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 and this. But in certain cases, you will not see all three because this is a cherry pick example. But uh, I just want to show you certain criteria. Ideally, you have all of it. But if let's say you just have this and uh, this, it's fine. Okay, if let's say you just have this and you have this, it's also fine. Okay, I, I, it's not a hard and fast rule. I just want you to have a brief understanding of uh, what a breakout looks like. Okay, what makes a breakout? So hopefully that is clear. If you're not clear about anything, please uh, just leave a comment down below. Uh, we'd love to help you. If you have any questions, okay, we're always reading your comments. So what do you look for in a fake out? Uh, this is just the opposite. What you want to see is that you want to see strong price movement attacking the level. So in this case, you can see that uh, strong price movement attacking this level. In fact, let me close this first. In fact, if you were to... Um, Yes, in fact, if you will look at this candle over here, this candle is very bearish because the, the close was at the bottom, meaning that price did not even do a retracement. It's not even a pin bar. Okay, so this is a very strong price movement and a lot of traders, they get trapped because when they see this kind of movement, they say, oh, this is such a bearish candle and this support is broken and they start selling. So what happens is that the institutional players are accumulating their position over here and this is actually a bear trap. Bear trap meaning that uh, bears who, people who sold here, sellers who sold over here, uh, they will have lost money because uh, they probably put their stop loss above the swing high here or here. And as you can see, price just went up and uh, went to trigger all the stop losses. So uh, this is what I mean when there is no build up pressure. So earlier on, we have the build up. You can see that there's a build up. Just contrast this pattern over here and uh, this one over here. You can see that there is no form of build-up. You do not see a series of engulfing patterns uh, over here. So let me just clear this and uh, so that it's clearer. It's a bit messy right now. Okay, so there's no build-up pressure. And what happens is that after price breaks uh, the level, in this case, this level, you can see that it immediately unbreaks the level. Okay, uh, It unbreaks, meaning that it undoes the break. So this shows that this is a false break of this level. Again, yesterday's video, I talk a lot about fake outs. So if you need more uh, explanation of, or you want the easiest way to identify a fake out, then check out that video. That video is really powerful. It's a very simple way. But in this video, I just want to contrast uh, between a breakout and a fake out. 
So hopefully you can see the difference. It's quite distinct. So do take some time to look through the charts and try to identify uh, the differences between uh, both. Okay, so the last part of today's video is I want to show you how to you increase your win rate. Okay, uh, it's nothing groundbreaking, but I just want to break it down for you. Okay, so you should know that you should always be trading with the trend. Now, if you're not profitable trading with the trend, why do you want to trade counter trend? Okay, sometimes it boggles my mind because there's really no need to trade counter trend uh, with so many currency pairs and you know so many instruments to trade. There is really no need to trade counter trend. So as much as possible, you want to trade with the trend. Um, if you do not know how to identify trend, uh, you uptrend is actually a series of higher highs and higher lows, and a downtrend is the opposite, series of lower lows and lower highs. Again, all this is covered in a three-day trading guide, so I can't stress the importance of the three-day trading guide. If you have not gotten it, you have not taken the time to read it, please read it. Okay, it's all over there. Now, with that being said, let's say you are trading with a trend and you are in an uptrend. What should you be trading? You should be looking for bullish breakouts and bearish fakeouts. Meaning that uh, you want to trade bullish breakouts and any so-called uh, bearish uh, breakouts, you want to fade the movement and assume that that is a fakeout. Of course, you want to look for signs that it is fakeout. You do not just want to blindly enter when there's a, a bearish breakout. Again, our channel has a lot of videos on how do you trade fakeouts. So check that out. I cannot cover that in this video. But the, 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 my message to you is, really just stick to uh, bullish breakouts and bearish fakeouts. You want to see that uh, the bearish fakeout is, uh, sorry, the bearish breakout is not valid and then you want to trade uh, contrary to that breakout, bearish breakout. The opposite is also true. In a downtrend, you want to look for a bearish breakout, right? Because you're trading with the trend. So of course, if the order flow is to the downside, you want to stick with the downside and stick with the trend. And of course, uh, you want to do the opposite, which is a bullish fake out. So if let's say you have uh, something like that in a downtrend and you see that price has been consolidating and price does this and after that it comes back in, then you want to take the sell, sell trade assuming that this is your fake out. Okay, this is a full, uh, bullish fake out. So hopefully that is clear again. If you're not clear, just leave a comment down below. We'd love to address your questions. So just to recap about what I covered in today's video, number one, I shared with you why it's a breakout. Very straightforward. You have two levels. Uh, price has been trading between the levels and it breaks out. Okay. Why it's a fake out is the opposite. Price has been trading uh, within the range and uh, it goes up and then it comes back into the range. Okay, that's a fake out. What to look for in a breakout? You want to look for uh, pressure. You want to look for a uh, buildup something like this. I think this is the best way to show it and like that. So there's a form of buildup. Okay, you are, it could be a moving average uh, buildup, it could be a trend line, it, and it could be a series of engulfing patterns towards the top or bottom of the range. How do you look for a fake out? You want a big price movement to the level and then uh, let's say this is the level. This level is over here. Price make a big uh, sell down and then price goes back up uh, and reverses and unbreaks this level. And of course, the bonus tip that I have for you is trade with the trend. If you are doing a, uh, if you are in an uptrend, you want to trade the bullish breakout and the bearish breakout. If you are in a downtrend, you want to trade the bearish breakout and the bullish breakout. Okay, so hopefully that is clear, right? If you made it so to this video, right, made it to the end of this video, right, thumbs up for you, right, not, not a lot of people finish this video, right, really appreciate if you just uh, give us a thumbs up, doesn't take you more than three seconds of the time, but I appreciate if you just hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If not, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.